Uh, my name is Andrew Norton, and I'm a, a filmmaker. As, as a young teenager skating, my family had like a, a high eight camera. And so I just would borrow that and got like a crappy fisheye for it, you know, wide angle lens and would just film my friend skateboarding. And then that eventually turned into, I uh, used my dad's old Nikon camera and that turned into shooting skateboarding. I think regardless of what medium you work in, I think passion is, is critical. Yeah, I mean, it's funny, like, I mean, I'm not, as, as you guys have probably seen, I'm not, like, the most adventurous person in the world. Like, my favorite place is my bed. You know what I mean? Like, I don't, I'm not the type of person that, that's willing to, you know, wear bug spray and go to the camping store and sleep outside, you know, not that this trip is, but um, for me, when I hear Galapagos, that wouldn't be a place that, on my destination list. Like, I never even thought of, of going there. So for me to be able to come here and, and, and see what it's like, like I was just curious. I wanted to see what, what this place was like and, and it would be just silly to say no to a trip like that. Since I've been here, my cell phone's been in the drawer for three days and I haven't, I haven't missed it. And that to me is like one of the most surprising things. Yes, I guess coming to the Galapagos has let me let go of things that, that I'm wound up with at home. You know, like I've seen more wild animals in the past two days than I have in my entire lifetime, I think. This was my first time snorkeling, and and this has ruined snorkeling for the rest of my life, because the first time snorkeling, it's like, okay, let's, let's snorkel here. And it's like sea lions, just like a few inches from your face. It was just like, it was like the little mermaid or something. You're like, oh, okay, this is what snorkeling's like. And then next time it'll be like, this is very boring. This isn't a normal place. This is not a normal place at all. I've been itching to, to get some faces, to get some voices and, and things like that. And like this trip has actually made me realize that where it's, I need, I need something driving me. I need to be talking to people. I need to be, I need to be filming people. I need, need to be interacting, which is kind of strange because I'm a shy person like I'm, I'm fairly introverted. But in terms of uh, filmmaking, I, uh, I need people in it. <laughs> life it, it kind of like took me out of my normal life and put me in a place where i have never been before and allowed me to experience things i've never experienced before and and that's when i kind of had the out-of-body experience of like oh yeah this is crazy like this is this is something that you're going to tell your friends about this is something that you're going to be thinking about for a long time and this is something that you're really lucky to be doing right now <laughs>